So I came here for greener pastures. I told my mother that I was going to be away for four years. And now I'm almost a pensioner. My husband and son left behind. My husband P would have given anything, anything to come with me. But he couldn't get a visa. So it was only me. One of the Philippines' main exports, main commodities that was left to pay the Santos International Recruitment Agency, what would have been 1,500 pounds. 1,500 pounds! All that money just to find me a domestic post in London! <laughs> uh, it took me two and a half years to pay that loan back to my mother. And it took me almost 20 years to save up enough money so I could go home with confidence to see my family. 20 years. And now, five years later, here I am again, back to square one. I'm going home. Oh, I'm still afraid. It's even worse now that I know what's expected of me. Because to them, I'm the lucky one. The one who went to Britain to work. If only they knew the amount of time I packed my bags to return. When I first arrived here, oh, my employer, that Mrs. Jones, she showed me the Hoover. I, we didn't have like that in the Philippines. Huh? I had no idea what it was for. I swept the pile carpet for three days. Then I saw this, uh, this television advert and I thought, day, this nanny just disappeared. She left. And I had to look after the children. Oh, these two unruly girls. They were aged 8 and 10. And this beautiful baby boy, Freddy. He was only two weeks older than my own son, Jose. I didn't want to get close to him, but she would say to me, Look, Nina, look, he likes you. Oh, look, you take him. Look, he likes to be with you. And then just throw him into my arms and disappear to one of her, mm, her lunches or her shopping sprees. Don't know where she went. She, she showered no motherly love on those children. And I was afraid to tell her. I was afraid to tell her that I left my own son in the Philippines. Knowing that this would have unsettled her. I need a reliable soul around me, Nina. Mm, sige. Six days after arriving, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, they went on holiday for two weeks. And I had to look after the children in this new country <laughs> whilst their parents went on ski holiday. Eventually, I became their full-time nanny. But with no pay increase, huh? just 10 pounds a week. 10 pounds! And she used to say to me, but Nina, you are happy here, aren't you? Mm. Sige, garod. Nya, kunam. Kunam that they couldn't find a nanny to stay there for more than a month. Now, 25 years have passed. And the two girls have grown up and left home. But Freddy is still at home. He didn't want to go away to boarding school or to university because he was afraid of leaving me. Yes, Mrs. Jones, he was afraid of leaving me. And I was trapped. British Airways Flight 203 now boarding for the Philippines. You know, when I, when I went back to the Philippines five years ago, but the whole family turned up to greet me. I have 13 brothers and sisters, and I didn't recognize any one of them. <laughs> they didn't recognize me either. Huh? They said, Ay, nagbakat ka na niya, man. <laughs> Ay, nako. <laughs> uh, you know, as I, as I entered the meeting area, I made eye contact with so many people. 
th this men and women and the children, they ran up to greet me, only to find that I wasn't the one. Oy, Ludwig! Ludwig, si ka kaya man yung nagloko ka na, itulong anak man ito. Ay. Sorry. Sorry. Joanna! Joanna, ni Nina! Ay, nagpintas ka mat gaya man yung ay kukuham. Ito yung halik ka mag... Ay, no. no. Sorry, I, I, I thought you were my sister. Sorry. Ay, Diyos step ni Nina, Auntie Maria. Auntie Maria, siyak ni... Saan? the far end of the departure lounge. I saw my husband sitting down with his head bowed. So deep in thought. He was now old and frail. I instantly recognized him. He was wearing this blue and white check shirt that I had sent him. Once light brown hair, now Slate gray, carefully brushed back behind his face. Ano sasabihin niya sa akin? Hindi naman niya ako makikilala. Jose! Siyak ni nanang mo! My Jose! My one and only child! He's now 21! I left him just two days after his first birthday with my mother. Jose, you know, such is life, and as a mother, you have to make these choices for your family. I know we never ever bonded, and even though I had worked so hard to put you through school and to give you a, a good trade, nothing, nothing will ever compensate for leaving you behind. We are like strangers. To him, I am just the provider. This woman who went to Britain to work, who used to send money home every month. Oh, suddenly, the whole family descended upon me. Grandchildren I knew nothing about, and nephews and nieces, cousins and neighbors, all came for this tearful reunion. All came to see this nanny. We lived in this huge house in St. John's Wood. <laughs> little did they know. Little did they know that I had to fight to get that Mrs. Jones to pay my salary. Fight to get the day off. And fight just to have time to myself. I had to work so hard just to buy even the small gifts that they so badly wanted. Within two hours of my arriving in the Ilocos, before I even had time to get myself together, my two big suitcases, they were empty. Empty, like a tornado had hit. This anxious family and friends, they crashed down on me for handouts, clothes, these handbags and shoes, tin food, bedding, and most of all, this royal family souvenirs. <laughs> the cases are empty now. And everybody except my husband and my mother dis disappeared. I 
found it so hard to adjust my marriage my marriage is only in namesake Ay, poor P what have we done my whole family structure completely gone and only my faith to keep me going British Airways flight 203 is now boarding well, in 15 hours, I will be home. My baggage far exceeds the amount. When I first told Freddy that I was going home for good, he got so angry. He told me, how will he manage? Who's going to look after him? Who's going to clean up after him? His parents had immigrated to South Africa and had left the house to him. And I had to look after him in the house. And he said to me, he said to me, what right does my family have to claim me after all his parents had done for me? I said to him, Freddy, I left my own son to come here to work and to look after you and your sisters. It's time for me to go back. Within half an hour, my few belongings and the gifts that I had gathered, they were thrown into eight black bags. And I was thrown out. 25 years of service for this. morning as I was leaving the accommodation that the Center for Filipinos had found for me. Who did I see? Yes. Ready. He was looking for me. He came to say, I'm sorry. 'When will you be back? He said. I can't live without my nena. I adopted mom. We held each other and we cried. <laughs> Soon I said, Soon, Fred. British Airways Flight 203 now boarding for the Philippines. <laughs>